Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow up 186, Nasdaq's up two, S&Ps are up 11 and a half. Gold contract down $25.50, traded at 1,199 an ounce. Silver down 85 cents at $16.41 an ounce. Both of them are getting whacked hard. Platinum down $16 at 1,244 an ounce. Copper off four pennies at 306 a pound. Light sweet crude. Down a buck thirty-four, trading out at eighty dollars and eighty-four cents a barrel. Bonds. We have the ten-year up three ticks, one twenty-six eighteen. Thirty-year up four ticks at one forty-one sixteen. King dollar up one hundred eighty-nine ticks at eighty-six twenty-two. The euro is down nineteen, trading out at one twenty-six, and the yen is up forty-two, trading out at one o nine point three two. iPhone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Why well, not? What's going on in your world? In the world of the S&P, let's take a look at them. This is going to be just amazing, folks. This is this just may go down as one of the uh, ultimate in uh, uh, technical analysis. We'll see how this whole thing shakes out. But this is what we have: cash S&P. We get to 1999.40. Okay, we're at 1990 right now. You take a look at this, and we put this on a three-year weekly. And what you're going to see is that you're going to see that we, first week of October, we had the break with vicious volume on the way down. Um, you broke a channel line and you broke it with conviction. Conviction specifically means wide price spread accelerated volume. Take it apart. We've come right back up to the other side of the line and we've done that on dramatically lighter volume. It tagged this line this morning, and what happens, folks, with the trend lines in general, okay, uh, well, technical analysis in general, okay, uh, it's an art, not a science. That, that's the reality. Uh, Fibonacci, number-wise, yes, that, that would be a science. It's mathematical. Um, trend line basis, when you're putting them together, it's like, okay, bottom line, the trend line is set up from, let's say, 1992 to about 1995, 1996. Bottom line, we get up to 1999. We're at 1990 right now. Dramatically light of volume. Now, not just on the trend line break, but also on what we're going into. Now, what does that mean in the context of where we are right now? What's going to happen in the next few days? Well, my take is that we backed off. Yeah, let me put, I'll do the SPY so you can see what we've done intraday thus far. Because this is a day trading paradise, folks. Okay, And what it is is this. You came up to the line. Uh, you, you busted over it. You had, the last time we had any volume, by the way, you know, just on even an intraday basis, um, was yesterday, and that was on the way down from 197.99 to 197.13. Then we get down to 196.80. That's on the SPY. We go top side again. You get over, you get over the highs of yesterday on a 10-minute basis. It just died in the vine. I mean, good time, too. The first, the first break top side at 2.3 million. The 2.3 million was going over 13 million. The next bar had 2.3 million, and the next bar had 880,000. It took 30 more minutes to come downtown. So you come down, first, first leg down, you know, you did uh, 2.8 million. Uh, 10 minutes before I get in, we just did 4 million. Okay. Now, that being said and done, the, you, you pull back down. If we take the same spy and we put that up into a three year basis, what you're going to see is the same type of setup. Now, this setup here, the difference being is that, depending what quotes you, you have up, okay, you're, you're going to be able to have the volume right next to it at the same time. So the volume characteristic right now, we're, we're at Thursday. We have one more day of trading. On a weekly basis, we have uh, 436 million shares. Well, the 436, folks, is going into 653. The daily basis is not even close. I'll do the daily basis for a second for you. So the, the break of this line, uh, we got to 199.95. Right now you're at 199.07. The line is basically set up somewhere around 199.12 to 199, let's say 0 0.40. You're up there, you're failing it, you're pulling back. Okay, so now that being said and done, we know that, okay, we're on, um, it's the end of the month, 
It's window dressing. It's election cycle on Tuesday. With that type of setup, this is going to drive everyone right up a wall. And what I expect you're going to see is that you'll see this get tested and tested and tested over and over, next two or three days. Bottom line, we're going south. You take a look at the SPY, this is what you have. And this is the most deviant, it's so cool. So the SPY thus far, we've done 88 million shares. The 88 million shares is going into 150 million shares. That's on the daily, okay? We put this on a weekly basis, and what you're gonna see, uh, it's about as clean as you can get. Uh, weekly basis, first high we made up there we had uh, 561 million shares. You come off that high with 595, 683, 857, guess what? Last week, huge week, you did 700. This week, you get 424. The 424 uh, is going into 600. It's not going to make it. I do expect what you're going to see, though, is that the test will get done. And if this wasn't the window dressing and election cycle, this would be the sell right here. I, I don't plan on selling until this gets tested a few more times. And it's going to be wild watching how that it actually can get tested and get tested on dramatically lighter volume again. Uh, that's what we've done thus far today, folks, okay? Thus far today in NYSE, we're going to be lucky to do 650 million. Yesterday we did 8, 822. We go take a look at the Dow Industrials. Inside the Dow Industrials, what do we have? Dow Industrials up 200 bucks. Great leading story, right? No doubt about that. Dow Industrials hit a uh, price point up here, 17,223. The high on the Dow Industrials is 17,350. The low of that high is 257. We hit 223 today, 257 can get hit in a heartbeat. NASDAQ Composite, now the composite's a different animal. Composite, um, talk about basically turning pretty quick today. The composite, we hit 4575. Right now you're at 4554. Volume on the composite also is gonna shrink dramatically within well, it's, it's, it has shrank dramatically, uh, but I expect you're going to see, see a shrink today. Today, we're going to do 1.8 billion versus 2.1. We go over to the three Qs, the NDX 100, and what you're going to see in the NDX 100 is that we've done 28 million shares. We've hit a price point of 100.26. The high out there is 100.56. That high had a 46 million. That's on your daily. We set up the weekly. We do the weekly, and what we have on the weekly is this. Weekly basis. Uh, 185 is the high, and thus far we've done 132. Uh, add another 30 in there, we're going to be about 165 to 185. It's quite a market. That's the bottom line. Gold contract. We'll go over to gold. Hammered gold out here today without the dollar actually going to the moon. Gold contract comes down 191,000 contracts. That is going into, uh, I believe we got. You're going to 148,000 contracts and 186,000 contracts. Uh, we got to 1195. The, the swing low out here is 1183, and that's game to get tested. Um, we'll see whether the volume contracts as it gets down into that level. I expect it's going to. Why? Because if we do go over to the GLD, what you have with the GLD, we're coming down with 6.4 million versus 11.3. Um, and in that context, when we go over to the dollar index, okay, what you have is this, uh, DXZ4. The dollar index, folks, basically got to a price point out here today of 86.58. You're at 86.21 right now. You've done 34,000 contracts. The dollar got up and over the October 15th level, and that's, that, uh, that's the one I wanted to test, which is the 86.13. Um, right now, we're at 86.21. You get back under 86.13, what I expect it will ASAP. Dollar is still number one. Longer term, yeah, dollar wants higher highs. Shorter term, and when I'm talking shorter term, two or three months, dollar wants to trade down into this uh, 83.99 to 82.97. Now, and here's the kicker. When we come back, we're going to go over bonds, because bonds are still the screamer out there that this market's going lower, and, I'm, and it's just consistent over and over and over again. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. Dow Industrials are up 185, NASDAQ's up 2.5, S&P's are up 11. You stay right there, folks. So come right back.
Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter. And if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary for Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Tom Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we get the uh, Dow Industrials up 198. NASDAQ is up 6.5. S&Ps are up 11. Let's go over to that bond market, folks. Uh, first off, we take a look at the 10-year bond. 10-year bond out here, flat market. 1.2 million share uh, contracts traded, uh, and what you have out here, folks, what is really intriguing is this. So we get a market that you can bottom line say it's to the moon, no doubt, and they can't crack bonds, folks. That is saying, number one, bonds want to get up to the high of October 15th. That's the 10-year. That's 130.17. I expect what we have here is actually a large ABC structure on the way up that's going to take it a lot higher. Uh, the 30-year, the 30-year, 
leads the 10 year. There's no two ways about that. 30 year got to a price point out here today of 142.04. We've done 313,000 contracts. Uh, bonds are going to need more volume, no doubt, but you're in the building cause uh, of getting to higher price. Uh, key is out here. 30 year, 148, that was the spike high on the uh, 15th, that's going to get tested, and we'll see, in fact, is that an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, the, t the 10 year right now, the rate is 2.3, and we take a look at uh, the uh, 10 year rate, as well as the rates um, across the world. Bottom line, uh, 2.3 is still uh, a big number that we are paying versus where you can put money to work in the rest of the world. You know, so when we take a look at that action, meaning the bond action, the stock market action, bonds still want higher price, and with the uh, uh, S&Ps up 10, or they're up 12 right now, they still can't whack bonds. Inside the Dow, the reason I didn't just use the Dow then, inside the Dow, the juice inside the Dow, folks, is all about Visa. Uh, you know, Visa's up uh, $21, up almost 10%. Uh, Merck, you have up uh, 82 cents, but Visa's the mover. Even with the Dow up 200 uh, points, the losers inside the Dow, you have Intel down 147, Microsoft off 71, Cisco is uh, down 9 cents, and you get ExxonMobil down 38. That's important to understand in the context of what moves indices, weighted indices. Inside the NASDAQ, uh, the NDX 100, uh, pushing it higher is that you got Catamaran up 10%, uh, 11%, uh, $5.88. .88. Equinox is up $14, that's uh, what, that's uh, 7%. You got Baidu.com up by $12, uh, that's trading out at uh, 236 And you get Akamai uh, Technology is up uh, $3. Taken away from it, we have uh, C.H. Robinson down at 323, 5%. Intel, uh, of course, is uh, pushing on that. Uh, AFCO uh, Technologies down 333, and NXPI is off uh, 206. Uh, some of the uh, Dow stocks that uh, we get American Express up 27 cents. You get Caterpillar down 10. Uh, DuPont is up 71. You got uh, Big Blue up 53. We go over to Big Blue for a second. We take a look at Big Blue. Uh, Big Blue is going to be uh, spending more money on buybacks, and they're going to basically lose all that money. <laughs> That's the way this is set up. Uh, Big Blue is in a monster ABC down. It's pretty incredible, actually. Uh, it's broken everything, done it with volume. And what we are going to see, uh, we're coming into the end of the month tomorrow, end of the trading month tomorrow. Yeah, well, end of the month period. Um, in November 1st is uh, Saturday. Uh, what you're going to see and what you, want to be, what you want to be setting up are these monthly charts. These monthly charts, you have breaks of swing points on volume, and you have them in many stocks. Uh, UTX, we could take a look at UTX, United Technology out here. Uh, that, that equity's gone from a buck twenty. Gets down to I think got down about eighty five. No, it, it got down to get down to ninety seven. They have a counter trend bounce up to one oh six. Uh, that is on the daily. We put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is that uh, we've come off that high uh, of one twenty. And each and every leg down has had dramatic volume. Uh, right now we get that spike that's out there uh, from October seventeenth. And that's bottom line, saying uh, we are going to get into uh, lower prices out here. Uh, the, 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 this, it, it's going to be wild just watching how this shakes out, because the classics. Okay, so, so let's go through channel breaks again. What happens, folks, with, with channel lines, and, and uh, uh, man, Mr. Bud Rolfs is the absolute master of these. In fact, i I got to get Bud on, because, so, so check this out. The, the, Channel lines in themselves, they take a long time to develop, okay? And when they develop, they, because it takes such a longer time to develop, they do release more information. Um, that information is what can set up higher probability trades, because we're in the probability business. That's all it comes down to. And what the difference, the, meaning the reason it can be a higher probability trade, is the aspect that the line itself is set up and it takes so long for the line to set up. This particular channel, the thing that's amazing about it, you know, uh, intraday today, of course, you know, just like you folks were in front of the computer every day, and I'm watching this come up to the line, and I'm watching it hit, and, and you know, I, I'm saying that, you know, if, if you get my daily news, you know, 
I uh, said that, listen, we, we'd be going shot right now if, in fact, it wasn't the end of the month, uh, window dressing, and the election cycle is Tuesday. You know, because it, it, I, I expect, realistically, what, where the shot position might be, it might be on Monday, before, before the results come in on Tuesday or the close of Tuesday. Um, and not that the results are going to make any difference either. You know, no matter, matter what party wins or loses, they're going to they're going to blame the other party. And that's not going to even matter about what's going on in the stock market. But for some reason, the markets can seem to wait for those events. That's what it comes down to. But the the key with the channel line is that when you come up to something like this and you just touch it and it fails, it's 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 wild. So the if you're going to break the channel line, and it's going to be a true break, and it's going to stay above the channel line, what happens, folks, is you break it with wide price spread accelerated volume. That's just how you break them. On the way down, that's what we did. So that's what I'm talking about as this could be an absolute classic, meaning we break it on the way down, we do wide price spread, we do accelerated volume, we do all of the above, and then it comes up and touches it. And the reason I you want to wrap your head around this because this market here is a market that you can learn so much about how markets actually move because you don't know the fundamental reason why this can happen like this but the bottom line is that that's what it does and as as as, as <laughs> and, and there is no wizard uh, you know we know there's no wizard behind uh, the market um, let's see, because if they told you the real reason for the market move, they would be pulling the curtain back to see the wizard. One of our tigers in the... It, you know what's amazing? It seems like there's a wizard sometimes, right, out there, somewhere, right, that someone's pulling the strings. But that's, I, think it's, I think it's all of us just pushing and pulling. And for some reason, some, and I think that's some mathematical reason, by the way, okay, that that's what, that's what they do. So this one, I just... No matter which way this goes, it might take is that, yeah, it's... it's it hit the thing, it's going down, it's going south. Um, you know, if in fact that's what it does, folks, this is going to be the classic of the classics. That's, that's what it really does to do. And as uh, our man Mark says, and he's our bond genius, math is the human DNA. And it absolutely is, folks. You get children, make sure they know how to do math. It is no doubt the DNA. Dow Industrials are up 172, Nasdaq's down a buck and a half. That's 1.50, not 150. S&P's down, uh, they're up uh, 10 bucks. It's going to be test and test and test and then see ya, don't want to be ya. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customer 
optimization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 191. Again, NASDAQ up uh, four and a half. s and P's are up uh, 12 and a half. And if we go over and we take a look at the uh, financials, okay, because what you want to see uh, as we're getting up to these highs, folks, is you want to see harmony. Uh, in, in my case, I'm looking for harmony that we have failures that happen uh, at these highs. Uh, the XLF, the XLF is it's happening. Uh, the XLF right now, 23 million shares. Uh, that's going into the high out here of 50 million. We hit a, high, a price point today of uh, 23, $23.68. Uh, 23.59 is the low of the high, uh, and you're talking about half the amount of volume. So that is a, a nice setup in the context of how it's coming in on the daily basis. We go take a look at the weekly basis, and on the weekly basis, what you have thus far is this. We're coming in with 128 million shares, and we're coming into 199. Uh, tomorrow, we'll probably do another uh, 25 million shares. Uh, what that would set up is, uh, that sets up, uh, what, uh, 155 into 199. So the real key is gonna be, does it fail on price? It's gonna sit, fail on volume. We go to the XLE, we take a look at the XLE. XLE, this is of course the gas and oil sector. 
Uh, we have with the XLE, can't get out of its own way. Right now, uh, 17 million shares, sideways move. Uh, the XLE looks to me like a, a monster ABC down, not just a small one either. Your A point on this is 98 bucks, and your B is uh, 77. So you're talking about uh, 22 dollars. Um, 77, 67, 67 would you be a price point? We put this back on a 10-year basis, and 67. This gets interesting because 63 is the high of the 2008 lows. We had gone from 63 to 38 in one month. Uh, so uh, that is looks like where it wants to go. Now that is on a monthly basis. If you want to see. You know, coming off a high after making a high with no volume, an expansion of volume, go look at the XLE. So this is what you have with the XLE. First off, the, the XLE, May of 20, 2008, you had a high of $91.42. You had 566 million shares traded there. We took that out with 159 million. Check it out, 159 million versus 566. You talk about no one being in the store, paying up for the product. How long did it last? Well, it lasted... Uh, three months. You step there three months. Once we got back, and it shows, so this is pretty intense. You get back inside the range of the $91.45, the volume expanded to 747 million this month, folks, after making a high with 181 million. Yeah, let me say that again. 747 million versus making a high of 181 million. Okay, so now. Let's have some fun with the ETF structures. And if for the, all you tigers and tigers that have been listening in a while, I know you know this upside down right now, but we're gonna, I want to go through this. The reason I want to go through this because what happens is that no matter how many times we know something, the correlation of just putting it in common sense clarifies quite a bit about how you can go down in the market and how you can go up in the market. And specifically, what you have is this. When you have an uh, ETF, spider ETF, go down as we just have in this market, meaning you're bailing out of 747 million shares on the ETF. What happens? Well, what happens, folks, is that the ETF is the owner of shares. The ETF is just not an ETF, and they own something that's called the XLE. There's no, there's no such stock as the XLE. The XLE is 16% of ExxonMobil, 13% of Chevron. No, not, okay, inside, it wouldn't be 13%, 16% of it. Inside the XLE, this is what they own. 16% weighting structure of Exxon, 13 Chevron, 7.7 .7 Schlumberger, 3.8 ConocoPhillips. On and on and on. Each and every time that goes lower, this is where the chicken and the egg comes, they have to sell it. The pressure on it is extraordinary right now. What does that mean? That means that where are the buyers? We go over to ExxonMobil, what you're going to see? Largest waiting structure in the XLE. ExxonMobil has a monster high volume low at $86. ExxonMobil, we put that, that's on your daily basis. We can put this on the monthly right now. What has happened? ExxonMobil made a high with 208 million shares. We've already done 322 on the way down. What you want to do to see, are we going higher or lower, is you want to, harmony number one, you want to coordinate the equities that are inside these ETF structures with the actual equity itself and see if you have harmony, meaning how many, do you have how many you want to go down, do you have how many you want to go back up. Let's go back over to the XLF. We take a look at the XLF. XLF has been going up, granted going up on lighter volume, and that was on the daily. But watch what has happened on the monthly. On the monthly, we made a high last month with 714 million shares. We hit a price point of 2386. We've come, we got down to 2155 with 1 1.2 billion shares. No, oh my God, that's, so that's, uh, no, that's more than that. Because once it gets over that, that's the billion, no, that's right. 
No, yeah, that's right. Seven hundred fourteen million at the high. We've done one point two billion thus far. Bottom line, not as much pressure as the XLE, no doubt, but pressure. Needless to say, those structures themselves, because we're living in the in the age of ETFs, um, are crucial to understand how markets move and why markets can move so fast. That one of the biggest keys there, how they move and why they can move so fast. Now, let's go over to the gold market. Gold market out here today, no doubt. Uh, the physical gold got smacked. The XAU got smacked. The XAU right now is down $4.94. We're trading out at $67.95. We put this back in a monthly, and what you're going to see out here is that right now we broke the lows that were established going all the way back to June. We're at $67.94. Now, I won't get... The volume from today until tomorrow, but this is what we're dealing with. The low of 2008 is $68. Uh, where is she? 68, no, $63.52. The volume is $693 million. As of yesterday, we did $591. This, that, on the XAU, that low is going to get tested. It's pretty intense, but that low is going to get tested. HUI, Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. That's down eleven dollars and nine cents today. We're at one sixty-six. We take a look at that. We put that volume characteristic up there also. Uh, gold bugs index. The low is one fifty point two seven. Five hundred and twenty-two million, and thus far we've done three seventy. So you can see there's divergence there, and the divergence is, is that the HUI is much stronger than the XAU. And when I say much stronger, I'm talking about much stronger on volume versus price, okay, because they're both coming into that, those lows. But the HUI is coming in with dramatically lighter volume. What that says to me is that the price of gold, number one, well, 1189, folks, um, 1175, 1189, that is the price to get gold out of the ground. It goes underneath that, guess what? These companies, um, and I suspect some of them will go out of business, by the way. Some of them will go out of business because the cash won't be there. Uh, you stay under that for a certain amount of time. Uh, they won't take gold out of the ground. That just makes gold more viable. Gold's a commodity. That's what it comes down to. So that price is a, is a, is a decent price. What you have is that as we're coming into that price, it depends on how much cash do these companies have to stay in business. Let's go to Dan in New Jersey. Hey, Dan, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Uh, I was looking at the, uh, the, at the semis, the SMH. I thought I'd try to hit that September 16th swing point. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We get which that. is actually a, it's also a, about a seven eight six. That that that's the same point where you get a seven eight six in the last move. Okay, so let's take a look. You get the semiconductor index is trading forty nine, and you certainly tell me which. which, which okay, I'll put the seven eight six up for one second. Hold on. Oh, I see. It just missed it. Right. That's what you're saying. Right. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I was just wondering if it might spike tomorrow. Um, I, I hope so. <laughs> you know, I, I'm in the same camp you are right here. And the way that I'm looking at this, you know, this market has been deviant enough, Dan uh, and folks, okay? So it's like, you know, the semis today have come down to volume. You know, yesterday you, you get up uh, with, what, uh, 3 million shares? Yeah, 3 million shares yesterday, 7.4 down today, you know. But yeah, no, I can see. I can see where you want to do it. Um, let me put this on a weekly for a second. Ooh, that's nasty. Ooh, that's pretty. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, man. I might do that same trade. Um, I mean, I mean, that's almost like uh, if this is a shoulder for me. That's uh, Rick. What happened to Rick? I ain't heard from him in a while. Well, we better get him the call. We need, we need that call, man. Right shoulder. That's I love it, man. Have a great one. Have a safe Thanks, one. Tom. You stay right there, folks. 877-927-6648. Dow's up by 206. Nasdaq up 8. 
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.com. MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate.
educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we get the Dow Industrials up uh, 207. NASDAQ up 12. S&Ps are up, uh, where is she? She's up uh, 14 and a half. Uh, after the close out here, folks, you're going to have uh, Groupon come out with uh, numbers, uh, LinkedIn, Starbucks, uh, bank rate, uh, SBUX. Let's see what's happening with good old Starbucks out here. So uh, Starbucks is trading at 77.13. This little baby is up uh, 58 cents. We bring this back. We'll put this on a weekly first. So you consolidation that's in place. Put this on a monthly, see if I can get a little more clarity. Okay, so a monthly basis, your high volume swing is 62 bucks. That high volume swing was generated on April of 2012. We get over that, so check that this is gonna be cool. So on a monthly basis, I had 212 million shares. We take that out with 100 million. We make a high with 87 million. We come off that high with 146. Okay, so check it out. This is going to be great watching how this shakes out. So, you made a high. The high that was generated for Starbucks was a year ago. November of 2013. $82.50. 87 million shares traded. We've been in consolidation since then. So a full year consolidation with... The downdraft that occurred January at the beginning of this year. So the downdraft in January started at $78.27. Now watch how this shakes out because it's pretty cool. It made it back up to that level and it did it in July of this year. So we made it to 80.64. We did that with 87 million shares testing 146. So that was the first time that it went up there. Failed on price, failed on volume. What did we do? Well, we went from $80.64 down to $70. No big deal, right? Ten bucks, big deal. Now, as we went into $10 on a monthly basis, we did 95 million shares, which is going into the swing point of 122 million. So it's like, oh man, okay. So now, what are you going to try to do? Now it's going to try to get into this $80 once again. That's on the that's on the monthly. Now let's go back to the daily because we want to know what's going on tonight. So as we look at it tonight, <laughs> this is going to be wild. We have a, oh, I see. I got it. Okay, man. What a trip. Okay. So July 25th, you had a high volume spike. Guess what? It's going to test it. That's what it's going to do. Oh, now this is, you know what's going to be cool here, folks? It, we'll, see, we'll see first off, can it test it? And that high volume spike. The low of the high is 79, the high is 80.64. It's saying, hey, it wants to test 80.64. You get a test of that tomorrow with lighter volume. What is that going to do? That is going to be the test. Can't make the test. That's going to send it back down to the other side of that consolidation. So it's going to be um, pretty cool watching this baby shake out. Because in this type of market, what you have is that what you're looking for is you're looking for other correlations that will either correlate with your bullish stands or with your bearish stands. If we go to uh, LinkedIn, LNKD, that's going to be coming out with numbers after the close. LinkedIn right now is up three dollars and eighty-eight cents. It's trading at, at two o three, and LinkedIn on a daily basis looks like uh, yeah, can it test two o six? Yeah, it can. That's on the daily. We're at 203. No big deal there, but LinkedIn's going to be more volatile than that. There's no way LinkedIn's only going to move two or three points. Uh, on a weekly basis, you get, you get no juice. On the monthly basis, 
Okay, so on the monthly basis, you get a high volume. No, you get a low volume high, September of 2013, 257. You come down with volume. Okay, this is cool. Okay, so on a monthly basis, LinkedIn wants to go lower. So the take would be, guess what? As, as LinkedIn comes out with its numbers right now, we're at 203.37. That's saying LinkedIn wants to go to 190. That's how that's, how that's set up right now. Um, who else is coming out with numbers? Oh, this is this is always a oh Groupon. I, I think Groupon's let's see, GRPN. Take a look at Groupon. Groupon's a six dollar stock. Remember how much people used to talk about Groupon? You don't even think about it anymore. I don't know anyway. Uh, monthly basis, Groupon's dead meat. Who knows? There's not much there. Uh, this M E L I. Now this is a stock that's uh, highly volatile and a personality stock. This is an online, one of the largest online trading sites sites in Latin America. Uh, it's a hundred. It's a hundred and fifteen dollar stock, up a dollar thirty seven today. We take a look at this baby. Last time it came out with numbers, gapped up, nice gap up. Put this on a weekly basis first. And so she's coming into the downdraft that was created at 113. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so check this out. Uh, weekly basis, that is saying that we want to go to lower price. We put this on a monthly basis. And on a monthly basis, it's a consolidation. One second. Couldn't make it up there. Last month, it got to 118, did 10 million shares. The 10 million is going against 16 million. Can't handle that price. This is saying on a monthly basis, uh, we can get down to 93 bucks. So we're going to have some yings and yangs out there uh, coming into this close. When our man Dan from New Jersey uh, called, uh, what is pretty cool uh, is that uh, those SMHs, uh, if I pull this SMH up again, that looks to me like uh, uh, one of the nicest ones out there, meaning on the, on the short side. See, if you put, we put this on a um, monthly basis. Oh, well, first of all, you put it on a weekly basis. It's pretty amazing. It was going into the week of the downdraft of October 7th. The high of that was $50.47, 37 million shares traded. We got to 50 40 so we missed it by seven pennies, and we've done 16 million. So your correlation uh, as of tomorrow will be, be probably about 23 million going into 37, and it looks like it's not going to hold price. That's on the weekly. You put this on the monthly, and it's, it's a high volume spike low. You know, that's that's how this baby is. You talk about volume um, off the highs. Oh, and you know what's so cool? Check it out. This is this is the same deal with the ETF structure. Okay, so check this out. This is oh man, this is intense. So the SMHs made a high, fifty two sixty eight. Well, inside, if you remember, I used to trade the SMHs a lot, but when they changed the the weighting, they. And Intel's always been a large weight, but now it's insane. It's Intel's 19.9% and Taiwan Semi's 15.8. If you want to know why Intel's down, guess what? As the SMHs go down and a continual basis, they got to keep selling in Intel. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with uh, some uh, numbers after the close. Dow Industrial's up 221. Nasdaq up 16. S&P's are up uh, 16. We're going to be right back. Folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This quote is by uh, Natalie Goldberg. Follow what you love, and it will take you where you want to go. Mug it was. Let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 221. NASDAQ up 16, S&P's up 16, gold contract down $26.60, trading at 1,198 an ounce. Whacked. Silver down 78 cents at $16.47 an ounce. Platinum off 17 at 1,243 an ounce. Copper down four and a half pennies at 306 a pound. White sweet crude down a buck 14 at $81.06 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year up four ticks at 126.18. 30 year up three ticks at 141.15. King dollar up 204 ticks at 86.24. The euro 
down 23 at 126.09. The yen up 34 at 109.24. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have out here? Okay, this is going to be a classic, folks, watching how this baby shakes out. So, cash S&P, what do we do? Cash S&P gets up to a price point of, let's see, 1999, I believe. Yeah, 1999. We're closing out here in about 1993. What that does, folks, is it went right into the bottom of the channel. We're into the bottom of that channel, and we're into it. It's a classic with lighter volume. Uh, and I suspect that I, what we're going to see here, just because of the fact that you have uh, window dressing and the elections on Tuesday, that we're going to test this a few times. Uh, the SPY, but that this is going to be... We'll see whether it can break the channel. Thus far, it cannot break the channel in your light of volume. That's a classic failure on a large channel line that sets up. Yeah, insanity it does set up, folks, a 1334 cash S&P. And that number, yes, it's dramatically lower. Uh, and what you have, there's no doubt, is that you have a, a market that uh, is deviant beyond belief. You break down, you break down a monster volume. On the, on the S&P itself, the, the SPY rather, at 181.92, you have a high volume low now with 1.3 million shares on a weekly. And last week, we went up on 700 million. This week, we're going to go up on about 560 million. So watch the correlation. 560 million. I'm speculating that tomorrow uh, we'll do 120 million. Today, we only did 109. You're going into... 872, doesn't look to me like you're going to make it. Um, what I do expect, however, is that you're going to get a few tests and it might spike it. Why? Because the market's a deviant. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials. What do you have with the Dow Industrials? Dow is up 221. We're at 17,195 and the Dow is going to go up and test. The Dow wants to go up and test its high. Uh, if you don't get make it to the high, I figure we'll make it to the low of the high. That is 257. We made it to 223 today. 257, I expect you're going to get hit. Volume-wise, no juice. 754 million versus 800. Uh, NASDAQ composite, we did 2 billion versus 2.1 billion. Uh, composite, up 16 bucks. Composite is at uh, 4566. And the lows of the highs in the composite are also game because we put this on a weekly basis. Uh, what you're going to see is that the lows... We're probably already there, 542. Yeah, we're in them. We're in the lows of the highs right now. 610 is the high, and we're at 566. We take a look at the three Qs, the NDX100. Inside the NDX100, what, what we've done is this. You did 35 million shares today. The high of the NDX100 is 100.56. We hit 100.26. Characteristic goes like this. The high that was generated out here, the first high in September was 185 million. Thus far, we've done 140. That's going to be interesting because that's saying that you can do the uh, 185 tomorrow. So that uh, so the NDX 100 is going to be uh, all about can it hold that high with juice? Uh, it also has a low of 90 dollars and 24 cents with 424 million shares traded. Big big number. Gold contract. They whacked gold out here without the dollar really going to the moon. The dollar actually failed. Um, gold came down $27. That is going to be, especially coming into a Friday, that's going to go make that test of 1183.30. That was the low that was generated October 6th. That was a spike low. Did 198,000 contracts out here. When you go take a look at the GLD, the, GL, the GLD came down with uh, 7 million shares. Uh, versus the 11.3 at the low. That low is 114.42. We hit 114.94. That low is going to get tested tomorrow. It, you know, uh, dollar index, uh, bottom line, got to a higher high, uh, got over its swing point from the from October 13th, uh, held the swing. Uh, dollar has to get back under 86.13. I expect you're going to see that pretty quickly. Why? 
Uh, he, he did 35,000 contracts, and that's not even close, folks. Uh, this, the, the highs out here have 53,000. The spike uh, trying to get up to higher highs in lower lows was 116,000. Um, let's go to uh, Rick in Clearwater. Hey, Rick, what's going on? Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Well, not too bad. Is um, Tom, I am a loyal follower of the Gold Report for the last 10 years, practically from the beginning. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it's been a great report. We've had a tough couple months. That's for sure. We've had a tough couple months. Well, tell me, you, you know, it's, it's for, for folks that are into it for the long run, um, we can take our hits and most of us who follow the gold report really closely, you know, we're, we're down like 45, 50 percent. Um, what do you think is going to happen? When you say 45 and 50 percent, you're talking what? Talking per year? Uh, the gold report in general? Um, for the year. Okay. For the year. I mean, we, we made a little money last year, you know, years before that. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of activity because we were just hanging on there. But it's been kind of tough. I mean, you know, we were we were looking pretty good a few months ago. Um, you know, and then we, you know, it all backed down. And, uh, you know, hit a lot of stops. You know, 23%, 21%, 24%. Hey, we got stopped in Harmony twice. Once for 21 and then went back in once, then again for 24. So, been pretty brutal. I'm just saying, do we have a shot? at getting back to even anytime soon. That's questionable. Yeah. That's that's definitely questionable. Um, I, I, I guess the... I'm glad you're not asking, should I take the stops? No, I, I follow you to the T. Okay, good. I, I make the buys when the report comes out. Good. And set the stops. Um, but, you know, hey, a lot of the stops are pretty big. Well, I guess the 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 aspect of inside the gold market, you know, when you're talking 12, 15, 20 percent, when you're talking stocks that, you know, are basically seven or eight dollars, um, you need that. You know, but you don't have to take the trades either. That's the that's the other side of it. And if you've had the gold report for 10 years, um, there's no doubt that the way that these equities come down and it, it kills me when I do pile in, there's no doubt. Um, but the bottom line is that you have to decide, decide money management-wise, what are you going to take? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, just follow strictly, so I'm not doing this on my own. Yeah, okay. But, but you know, we always think no, we're so it's the an answer, it's a, to answer your question, right, that the XAU and the HUI right now are going after their low, and if we break that 2008 low... Okay, this thing can, the equities themselves can go a lot lower, and in fact, some of the gold companies will go out of business. Yeah. So make sure that you, if you took the stop, great. But yeah, all we got left is HL. Okay. That's all we got left. Okay. And we're three pennies away from that stop. Right. And so that'll I'm, probably get hit tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you know, we're hanging in there. Okay, man. All right, man. Have Bye. a great one. Have a safe one. Dow Industrials closed up 221, Nasdaq up 16, S&P's up 6.5. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank. 
Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Carol Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom? Take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We had the uh, Dow finish up 223. NASDAQ up 16. S&P's up 16. Uh, LNKD. Uh, LinkedIn came out with numbers. LinkedIn closed at uh, 201, 202. It's trading at uh, 201. Uh, the, let's see the numbers here. Okay, so uh, it's going to be interesting because uh, this has been trading all over the place. It was actually down earlier. Uh, the estimate was 47 cents. They made 52. So they made their bottom line estimate. Uh, top line estimate, uh, they see revenue of uh, 600, and 600 to 650 million. And uh, she's still trading uh, right up there. Uh, Citigroup, however, uh, and this is going to be interesting to see uh, what it does to the financials in general. Uh, it's not hurting Citigroup that much, but number-wise, uh, it's pretty intense. So Citigroup closed at $53.15. It's trading at $52.35. And Citigroup, they're uh, decreasing their profit by $600 million, uh, to increase their legal cost. Uh, their profit, uh, uh, Citigroup, uh, the third largest Bank uh, said third quarter profit was $600 million less than previously reported because of an increase in legal cost. Net income was $2.8 billion for the three months ended September 30th versus $3.4 billion. Starbucks, SBUX, uh, we had with Starbucks out here. Starbucks closed at $77.32. Starbucks is trading at $73.28. Numbers go like this in Starbucks. The estimate was $0.74. Cents. They made $0.74. Cents. Their growth is 16 to 18%. 
they had seen a growth of only 10 percent, but they, they're going to get uh, bigger growth. Uh, same stish, store comp sales are up in the mid-single mid digits. Uh, they did miss, and what they missed, and this is what's uh, probably hitting them, they missed their revenue uh, estimate. That's, uh, that's always a big number if you're missing your revenue, because uh, if you're cutting, of course, the, the bottom line, uh, if you're bringing, yeah, well, if you're making the bottom line, which they did, and you haven't made your revenue number, it's like, okay, so what are you manipulating inside of that? Uh, GoPro, GoPro closed at $68.25. That's trading at $71 right now. Numbers on GoPro go like this. They, their gross revenue is $280 million. Their margins are 44%. The estimate was $0.08, cents and they come in with $0.12. Uh, if we go take a look at GoPro, uh, GoPro has, has come off that high. The high that was generated out there was $98. Uh, come off the high. It's at 68 right now, and it's trading, let's say, 71. You're trading at 71. Uh, the shot position still in GoPro is 39.96%. So I suspect what you're going to have out here is uh, GoPro for uh, a, a bit of time uh, is going to have some heavy pressure on it. EXPE. Uh, um, okay, so you get Expedia. That closed at $80.73. That's trading at $82.79. Numbers go like this on Expedia. Revenue is up 22%. That's a big number. Revenue is up 22%. Uh, let's see. $824 million. Booking room nights are up 24%. Gross bookings are up 29%. Um, yeah, they're making, they're making some money. That closed at $80.73. That's trading out at 83 That's not going to be enough to get it up over the highs, though. Uh, this, is, this has come down off $89. It's just going back into ice. Let's see, we have uh, Groupon, G-R-P-N, G-R-P-N. Groupon uh, closed at uh, $5.99. That's trading at $5.99. Numbers on Groupon, the estimate was uh, one penny. They made three pennies. They, uh, the amount of revenue, their estimate revenue was $749 million. They made $758 million. Uh, it's pretty amazing that uh, when you take a look at Groupon, you know, we're, we're, it's a $6 stock now. Uh, this, this stock is something that, that's, you know, was supposed to go to the moon in 2011. It actually hit 31, crashed down to $2.60, did a counter trend bounce to uh, $12, and now it's just basically hanging out and hanging out at that uh, price point of uh, $6. And it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. You know, there was a, the, so the, the Fed, Federal Reserve, right, right folks, okay, the, well, not the Fed. Uh, the Treasury. The Treasury, QE, well, no, the Fed. Okay, so the Fed, uh, QE, that ended yesterday. And uh, on the balance sheet, okay, you're still talking about huge numbers, and you're going to be talking about them reinvesting those numbers for quite a while. There's a lot of um, questions in the den, and uh, Tiger's den, and what a lot of those questions had to do with was, okay, what was the reason for QE and and who gained in QE and you know what what it's all about the QE folks in itself okay when you go back to 2007 2008 the bottom line is that you had a depression not just a crash and that depression could have went on and really basically took this country apart I don't the amount of QE that went in, or why did it go in and what did it do? There's plenty of folks that are saying that, well, it hasn't done anything. Well, folks, let me tell you something. It did a huge amount, okay? And you can agree or, uh, or disagree, it doesn't matter. The way that the system is set up, the system is set up to basically take care of the banks. The banks have to get taken care of first because what ends up happening, I, I don't agree with it, but that's the way it is. That, the reason being is that they've lent all the money out. That money, whether it's pension money, shareholder money, and all that, ends up going into large commercial loans. What it specifically did, flat out, across the board, is this. Uh, you know, I talk a lot about the 
structures, the debt structures out there, commercial loans, all of the, the above. What we had is this. You had a situation um, that companies, corporations, individuals were highly leveraged, and they never would have been able to pay that money back. There's no way, okay? And in that context, you'd see more people losing jobs, houses, businesses, communities, all of the above. What this has done, okay, what the QE did is that they, it kept interest rates at zero. What that did, and I, I see it every day because when, I'm, when I look at the commercial real estate market, right, what you had is that you had these amounts of loans that, were never, that never could have got paid back. Two different things ended up happening. Let's say a commercial loan was out there at four and a half, five and a half percent. All of those commercial loans that it, it met, at one point there's a, a lot of funds that got, that raised a lot of money because they were going to go shot commercial loans is that they never even actually used the money to go shot commercial loans. And one of the main reasons was that the interest rate came down so dramatically, so quickly, right, that it bailed out hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars in commercial loans. Because why? Because they could refinance the loan to get a cash flow going to get out of the situation. What ends up happening on a continual basis inside business in general is that if you have a cash flow going, you can get yourself bailed out. That's what QE was all about. That's what it continues to be all about, because they're going to be reinvested. But when you cut to the chase, that's what it was about. And it worked. You know, I would say that it worked. Why? Because all those loans, you could argue that, great, it's the elite that got taken care of. Yeah, that's a fact. But guess what? It would have went down. It would have wiped out a lot of cities. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there. We'll come right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy. A set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless 
us are on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Folks, live with passion. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, M-E-L-I. Now, this is one of the largest uh, online trading sites in Latin America. That closed at uh, $115. That is trading at $130 right now. Numbers go like this. This is okay. So, uh... Revenue is 147 million. Uh, earnings per share, uh, 76 cents. So 115. You're at 131 right now. This is an equity. Last high up there was 118, which was uh, in August. We put this on a monthly basis, and one. So this is where it came down from. It came down. Well, first off, it made a high. In October of 13, so a year ago, made that high out there at 145. Uh, made that high with uh, 8.6 million, then came off that high with 16 million. Uh, we're going to push into that high now. Uh, we'll see how many shares we get out here tomorrow, but it looks like going to push into that high. What about? No, uh, uh, you probably around do the, you're probably doing around 14 million. Uh, 137 uh, is the high that was out there. Let's go to Brent in Martinez, uh, California. Hey, Brent, what's going on? Doing just fine. Talking about you today. I'm doing great, man. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. I was calling about uh, natural gas. I ended up buying <clears throat> off that bottom, I think it's about three days ago. Okay, so let's take a look. First, I'm going to go over to the natural gas contract itself. Uh, natural gas is trading, is trading at uh, 386 and uh, as uh, Brent just said, uh, we, we hit a bottom out here. Oh, this is interesting. Andy's going to like this one. Okay. So we hit the bottom on the 27th. Uh, that was a 362. Uh, you come off that bottom. Watch this too, folks. You hit the bottom out here with uh, 70,000 contracts. Following day, you do 124,000 contracts. Yesterday, we did 150. What that sets up, that's going to set up. That's going to try to get back inside its range. The higher range is 387. You're at 386.40. 
and that will put it into 420. So if we go over to the UNG and we take a look at the UNG, UNG is trading at 20.06. This is the U.S. Natural Gas Fund. The low of that fund uh, is 16.91. The high is 27.89. This is on a yearly basis. What that sets up is that it's going to try to go back inside 20.59. Right now you're at 20.06. And uh, yeah, it looks like, I mean, how you get, it, this is the same thing. So you made a low out here with uh, 6.5 million shares. Then we did 8.4 on Tuesday, 11.8 yesterday, and we did five today. Uh, and we're at, uh, we didn't hit the 2013 today, we hit 2007, which is pretty neat. So that's saying that, yeah, you're going to get that run up there. And if you get that run, if you get another, what you're going to be looking for, Brent, is this. You're going to be looking for the wide price spread accelerated volume. Because if you get it within like a couple days, what that will do is it'll get it inside the, the bar. But then your odds go up higher that, uh, you know, then that plays the higher range, which is that that 26 level up there. Okay. Yeah, I bought out to April, April calls. So. Oh, that's nice. You're in the call market. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it gives me time. It gets me through the whole winter. Yeah, you know, which is huge. There's no doubt about it. And what strike price did you buy? 20s. Oh, that's even better. Okay, so you're in the money. Now now you're in the money. Okay, cool. So I, I, do, have a, I do have a question for you. Now, I, I, I don't do a lot of these, the, <clears throat> the leverage products, but I did actually buy some shares of, of the, uh, the UGAZ. And so I, I know you have to be kind of careful. You need a trend going with you and not to hold them long term. But it's, what's, what's your thoughts on that one? Let's take a look. Now, so uh, the UGAS, okay, this is the Velocity three times long product uh, of the, let's see, of the natural gas index. Okay, so this came off the bottom of 10, your 11.84. Okay, so... On this one here, you know, and as Brent said, these are daily investment vehicles. Uh, when you get on the right side of the trend, folks, you'll actually get more than 300%. That's how they work. And the reason being is that they're compounding every day. They start new every day and they compound every day. You know, what I would do is that it looks to me like you can get an expansion, you know, up to this, uh, 13, 1335 to even... Fifteen, sixteen dollars pretty quickly, you know. Okay. And what to do is once you get to that level, though, man, just take it off and go. Then yeah. go with your options. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And yeah. should I just be moving my stop up? You think? Because I'm in at ten fifty. So. No, definitely move uh, your stop up. You, you, but, what right. happens is that when you get on the right side of these, this is what happens, folks. If you if you're if you absolutely understand how they work, meaning they compound the number every time when they're going up every day. And they get defensive on the way down. So if you get a mean streak on the way down, you actually lose less than 300%. If you get a mean streak on the way up, you actually make more than 300%. It's just how they, they tend to go. If you get a choppy market going back and forth, the bull position and the bear position will both lose. Um, so in that case, yes, bring your stop up every day. What does happen with these, of course, you know, when the natural gas contract is up or down, these will gap up or down like crazy. But, you know, I think you got a decent trade on here, right into uh, 1373, 1485 pretty quickly now. Okay. All right. I really appreciate it, Tom. You have a great day. Huh? Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Take care. And, folks, anything and everything you'd like to know about the leveraged ETF products, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go under ETFs. And what you're going to see, you're going to see three separate white papers there. They do a great explanation understanding how the direction shares work, how the pro shares work, how the velocity shares work. Uh, and it's really important to understand the compounding aspect of them because the compounding aspect of them um, and the reset aspect of them is absolutely crucial so that you can get a grasp on what you're looking at. Uh, Tempur-Pedic, TPX, uh, they just missed their numbers. Uh, Tempur-Pedic, uh, uh, Closed at $58. That's trading at 53 right now. That is, uh, let's see. So this is, uh, she, Tempur-Pedic had hit a high of 62 in July. Had a gap down. We went into the gap today. This is pretty sick. 
So the gap down had uh, 1.5 million shares. We go into that today with 1.7. Can't handle the price point. The price point of the top of that gap is 58.78. Oh, this is, I, I'd love to know how this works sometimes because it's crazy. So we go to 59, we close at 58.71, and the swing was 58.78. Doesn't make its numbers. Trades down, no, five bucks. It's going to go after the swing, the lowest swing point. Um, numbers go like this in Tempur-Pedic uh, Saley. Their net sales are $827 million. The sales were up 12.5%. They adjusted their, let's see. Earnings per share is 260 to 270 to something they don't like. Okay, so what did they miss? They missed their earnings expectations. That's what they missed. And our man, Mr. Dave White, wants to know what does that say about housing? Um, well, I guess what it says about who's buying mattresses is that you're off a low here. Tempur-Pedic was $24 and you're at $58. You know, I guess the, the amount of mattresses that get bought... Uh, make a difference there's no doubt about that but their revenue estimate went up their uh earnings per share did not go up a e g i you, you the, the housing uh, and i'm going to go back to that question again uh, and would you want to look at the housing deal as you look at lana folks uh this this is a biopharma getting killed out here this closed uh, a e g r closed at 34 dollars what does this thing do so this is a biopharma company, cardiovascular and uh, metabolic diseases. This is trading down $10. It's trading at $24. Uh, this is a 15 cent loss. Sales with $347 million. Oh, this is a disaster anyway. This has been a stock that's been down from $100. Has, uh, yeah, it's going back to, my God, look at this thing. Put this on a five-year basis, and a five-year basis, you're going right back to uh, $13. Uh, you want to look at housing? Go over and look at Lenar. The, the bottom line, Lenar set up there. It looks like it's going to be an ABC structure on the way up. We'll see how it does it. First uh, price point, $12.14, $12.14, uh, October going all the way up to uh, 43 you're pushing into that swing. That swing point on a monthly basis, the first swing point, $43.90. You had volume of $80 million. We've done $82 million thus far. And what you're going to see, I suspect, out here is this. Um, you're going to open up at the highs. And if this, is, if this breaks this high on a, a monthly basis, folks, the monster ABC up 12 is your A point, 43 is your B point. So uh, 12, uh, so it's 30 bucks. C is uh, 30. That's a $60 stock. You know, you break the B with volume. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there. We'll come right back. Dow Industrials, folks, up by 221. NASDAQ up 16. S&P's up for 16. We're going to be right back. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone silent. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Join Andy Hecht as he shows you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we take a look at the uh, DIA. The DIA, folks, is the um, diamonds for the um, Dow Industrials. And the, the question in the den... Uh, uh, the, the candle on 919 had 9.3 million shares, uh, and that candle, uh, would that have been a tell that we would come back up to that high, uh, you know, uh, in the diamond? So uh, we go over here, you're going to see 919, and it does have volume, and it actually took that spike out. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Peak. Um, so what you have is this. The first high that was generated out there, and this, this is going to be this. Th this is where this gets kind of interesting, and this is what it is. 
Uh, it's going to be, okay, how do we test that high? Uh, that the low of the high is 172.19. On the daily basis, that was 9 million shares, and today we did 7.4. That'll go after that high tomorrow. That's on the daily. We take this and we put this on the weekly basis. Uh, what you do have on the weekly basis is that we hit a high with 35 million, and you come in at that with 25 million. But that could do seven or eight million tomorrow. Uh, you went downtown though and broke the swing point also uh, with a 83 million, and then you have the high volume swing low at 64 million also from 153. So, uh, O, let's see, O U T R. This is uh, Red Box, I, I believe. Red Box uh, closed out a wall. Now they're closed, right? This is pretty wild. Okay, so Red Box uh, is now closed called Outer Wall. Uh, that closed at $56.58. That is trading at $58.33 right now. Numbers go like this. Revenue, the earnings per share, the estimate was $1.11. They made $1.44. The, that's the bottom line. Top line, the estimate was $550 million. They made $552 million. Um, they, they basically, it looks like they missed a little on the, the revenue Aside, even though it's uh, two million more, uh, we take a look at this and we put this on a chart. Uh, the 58 bucks doesn't mean a thing. Uh, this is down from 74. Uh, it, it's down with with volume. 46 dollars uh, is uh, what this baby wants to go after. Uh, and there's no doubt. You know, it's intriguing about this. Even when I was bringing this up, uh, as it, it's pretty amazing uh, that how much. Uh, they actually took in when, in fact, you know, you're still talking, you know, basically DVDs. Uh, it seems that everything is streaming right now, but I guess on the other side of it, uh, it's a very good product. It's inexpensive, uh, and that may make a huge difference. Uh, LNKD, uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn closed at uh, 202. It had traded to, I believe it traded to 189. Now it's at 206. So now you have it up $4. Volatility is there in spades. Uh, the, the number on LinkedIn, uh, the downdraft that was created on September 15th, it went from 224 to 206. Uh, so either I suspect uh, what you have there uh, more than likely is a conference call going on. Uh, if you take a look at the story, LinkedIn uh, gave a forecast for fourth quarter revenue that fell short of analyst est estimates uh, held back by a slowdown in its main job recruiting business. Revenue will be $600 million to $605 million. The California company said in a statement that compares with analyst estimates of $611 million. Uh, bottom line is that uh, volatility is going to be out here. Now, when we take a look at the markets, folks, we go back to the S&P for a second again. Uh, what I expect you're going to see out here is this. We're at the end of the month, beginning of the month, window dressing. You've been up four days in a row with that says it's really hard to go down or go sideways when you're up four days in a row. In fact, well, we're up longer than four days in a row. We hit the bottom. So when you take a look at this market, September 19th, we're at highs in the S&P 2019. We go down from September 19th till October 15th. What do we do after that? From October 15th, we're at October 29th today, or 30th, right? We go straight up. I expect what you're going to see, you're going to see that tomorrow, too. Um, no juice inside the move. That being said, when you go back, we, we put this on a nice three-year weekly. What you're going to see, and this came right up to the trend line today, couldn't handle it. Has light of volume, but I expect you're going to see that tested. You're going to see it tested again. You're going to see it spiked. Uh, when all said and done, this trend line at that 1995 level, approximately 1995 cash, more than likely will hold, have light of volume, and that would be the test of the channel line that is developed from 1388 to 1343, as well as, and this is what's so cool about the way this line is set up, because you can test this two different ways. You can test it from the channel line perspective all the way up, and then you test it from the horizontal swing points from the high. That's what you're looking for. If you get a successful test, has the juice, yeah, you can get to much higher highs. You have... A market that closed over the price, even with lighter volume, yes, you can get higher. Um, this test here, I suspect, is 
it was done today, probably be done tomorrow. Monday, Tuesday, that's the beginning of the month. There'll be some cash that will go in there, try to test it again. Tuesday is the election. Uh, more than likely, I suspect it's going to be uh, the position, the positioning of uh, putting uh, shot positions on, more than likely, is going to be probably Monday night. Um, and it just might be the, the calls on the election where the market wants to go south. Now, it doesn't matter. I'm not saying it doesn't matter whether Republicans win or Democrats win across the country. Uh, what it just has to do with, it has to do with how markets seem to set up and how they set up. There's always some kind of news event or some event that the markets always seem to be waiting for. It's very real possible that the market is just waiting for that uh, Dow Industrials to go up and uh, test that DIA, uh, which, which uh, Peak was saying up there. Uh, volume out here still wasn't there, not even close uh, in the NYSE. Uh, actually, look at uh, we're going to probably put the now the largest. I don't I don't use this a lot, but if we go do look at the NYA, um, what you're going to see, and this is the uh, inside the NYA. What you have is that this is the composite. You have not only all the uh, equities, you have all the bond structures. Well, inside the NYA, when you bring this up, we uh, are not. You know, where we get a counter trend bounce going, uh, but it hasn't got up to ICE yet. It's it's almost there. ICE is uh, basically set up at 10,881. We've got to 10,379. Um, we take a look at this, and we also put this on. And this is what you're, you're going to be looking for. You're going to be looking for uh, harmony right across all the indices. Uh, and if this is going to go up to the channel line, this has, got, this has another couple hundred points to go, because that channel line is at 940. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of a fly with it. Thanks for being there, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking to you right here tomorrow. Go get them, folks.